Hi. Now what I've got here is an example based on using the arithmetic uh, progression or arithmetic sequences. And uh, if you'd like to give this a try, then I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. You can come back when ready and you can check your work solution along with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So just to recap, what we've got here is that Lewis played a game of Space Invaders and he scored points for each spaceship that he captured. Lewis scored 140 points for capturing his first spaceship and then he scored 160 points for capturing his second spaceship, 180 points for capturing his third spaceship and so on. And the number of points scored for capturing each successive spaceship formed an arithmetic sequence. And in the first part then, we've got to find the number of points that Lewis scored for capturing his 20th spaceship. So we'll start there at that point. What we've got then is that for his first spaceship, he scored 140 points. Next, second spaceship, 160 points. Third one, 180 points, and so on. So you can see that this is going up in equal steps, often called the common difference. That common difference here is 20 units, OK? So we often say that that is the letter D. D stands for the common difference. So you should be familiar with the basics of arithmetic progressions or arithmetic sequences. If not, just take a look on my website for arithmetic sequences and you'll find all the relevant uh, ideas there. But just as a quick recap, the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by this formula. A, the first term, plus n minus 1, the number of terms, n minus 1, times d, the common difference. OK, so you should be familiar with that. So we're looking now for the number of points he scored for the 20th spaceship. In other words, the 20th term here. So if we just look at the 20th term, we can say it follows that. OK, the 20th term is going to equal a, the first term, 140, plus n minus 1. Well, n is 20. OK, so we've got 20 minus 1. And we multiply that by the common difference d. The common difference is 20. So if you work this out, you'll find you get 520. 520 points would have been scored. Now in part B, we've got to go on to find the total number of points that Lewis scored for capturing his 20, or his first 20 spaceships. So we've got to add all of these values up that would be in this sequence. And again, you should be familiar with the quick way of doing this. We often refer it to as the sum of the first n terms, s with a little subscript here. And again, this formula, should be familiar with, is n over 2 times twice the first term, 2a, plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. Or there is another formula that you could use, and that is the sum of the first n terms is equal to n over 2, and then it's the first term, a, plus the last term, l. So it's up to you which one of these two formulas that you use. I'm going to use this one here, just purely in this example. I think it's going to be quicker than using this one. But do try it. Try this one as well. Check that you get exactly the same answer. So when it comes to working out the total number of points, we'll just put that as an intro, the total number of points over those first 20 games is going to be, and if we take this formula, n over 2, so that's 20 over 2, and then it's multiplied by the first term, which is 140, plus the last term in the sequence, which is the 20th term, 520. 
So 140 plus 520 is 660. Times it by effectively 10 and you get 6,600 points. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea. Do make sure that you're familiar with these formally though, okay?